What's up guys, it's your girl Mo and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please take the time out to go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel because I'm about to drop some gems on you guys today. And if you're already part of my family, what's up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to talk about growing on YouTube, what we need to do to grow our YouTube, and how to be consistent. So if you're looking to do any of those things, then this is the video for you, and let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so first I want to go ahead and give you a little bit of background about myself before I go ahead and get drop these gems on you guys. So basically, my name is Mo. My channel is a lifestyle channel. I do everything that pretty much I do on a regular basis which is lifestyle content, is the niche that I'm in. So I do anything from motherhood, vlogs, work, cleaning, all of that. Stuff that I'm already doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I don't really have to actually make my content. It's pretty much already there. I just have to pretty much just record it for you guys. All right, so we're going to start off by going into... My first tip, which I think this is what you need to figure out before you actually make your channel. You need to figure out your niche. Niche is basically categories on your videos or your channel, I should say, on what is it that you want to target your audience. There's different niches from gaming, lifestyles, vlogs, there's also um, a shopping channel go with that the more comfortable you are with figuring out what type of videos you want to make the easier it's going to be for you to make your videos and figure out who your audience is now the second thing now going forward it's not going to be in any particular order it's just the stuff that you guys need to know so if you don't have your pen and paper please take a second and grab it hurry up go get your pen and paper I'm gonna count to five. Y'all got it? Okay, let's continue. All right, so number two, we're gonna go into consistency. Consistency is so important when growing on YouTube. You gotta remember, YouTube is a platform where there are millions of channels, let alone, I can't even tell you how many videos. Okay, so you gotta you gotta think of of YouTube as a lottery, right? So each video you make, you're putting it into a lottery for the algorithm to pick your video and push it out to the millions of people that's on its platform. So the more consistent you are, the higher you are increasing your chances for your videos being pushed out there. YouTube is not going to take you serious until they see that you are serious. Y'all heard that? YouTube is not going to take you serious until they see that you are serious. I always like to say that two to four videos is what I would consider to be consistent. One is cool and all, but I personally don't feel like one is enough. Not if you're looking for a steady growth. Okay, so keep keep that in mind, two to four. If you have a nine to five, if you have other stuff going on, I get it, trust me. I work, I'm a mom of multiples, so I get it guys, and I push out a video. If not every day, every other day. Damn! All right, so thumbnails, now. Thumbnails is the first thing you see when you click on a video, right? So let's just say you type in what you're looking for. You get a bunch of videos that pop up. Those little pictures of those videos are called thumbnails. And let's just say this. We don't go by the views. We don't go by the titles as far as detail. We go by the thumbnails, by what we see, what looks appealing to us. So yes, you have to kind of get creative when it comes to these thumbnails, guys, because the better your thumbnail, the higher your chances are you getting your video to be clicked on until you become a more recognized YouTuber and people are searching for your particular content. Until then, 
You got to get them editing skills together. Now, number four, energy. Energy. Nobody wants to be talking to Born Patty, a Marvin who don't know nothing, or, you know what I'm saying, like people who just seem so down and out and who's always crying and whining and complaining. Like, don't nobody got time for that? Nobody don't have time for that. I don't have time for that, so I know y'all don't have time for that. So, yes, you have to bring good energy onto there because it energy attracts, okay? So, when you have good energy, then people is going to feel it. They're going to love your vibe, and they're going to vibe with you. Y'all can't be thinking y'all finna get an audience off of being mopey popey, right? All right. So, let's come on with that good energy. On and off camera. All right, so titles. Titles are important. I always say if you're a smaller YouTuber, you want to make searchable content. You want to make your titles to where people are actually searching for it. You got to remember, nobody know who you are. Nobody's looking for you in particular. You can't type stuff like, oh, I took my son to the park. Who are you and who's your son? <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? So it's not to be funny, it's the reality of it. Like I said, it's the lottery at the end of the day. You have to make searchable content. So if you if you if if your video is about, I took my son to the park, then you wanna type in something like, um, the best park in my city. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. So if people was to type in the best park in, let's say Oklahoma City, then you have a chance of your video popping up. And if they want to see that video, then, you know, your video is there. As long as you have a good thumbnail, you'll get views, boo. All right, so numbers. Now, YouTube is probably one of the highest numbers of requirement in order to get into their monetization program. You have to have 1,000 subscribers and you have to have 4,000 watch hours. There are absolutely no exceptions to that in order to get accepted into their program. And that's still not even a guarantee. As long as you're not, you know, you don't have any channel strikes or nothing like that or whatever, but that's pretty much the requirements to get accepted. Now, I will say this with YouTube, it is a number game, but you don't want to pay attention to numbers because it will discourage you. While you're on your journey in the beginning, especially if you're in the beginning, you want to break your requirements down into small goals. When you break it into smaller goals, it makes it more achievable and a little bit more realistic. Because if you leave that number so far fetched out, you're going to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get there. Because 4,000 hours, although it may not sound like a lot, it's a lot. Okay? And ideally, it takes people to reach that requirement six months to a year. There are plenty of channels that have had much success that reach that goal way before that time. So I'm not saying it, but what I'm saying is don't pay attention to the numbers. When you're making your content, have fun in your content, believe in yourself, and know you're going to get there. When you have those type of vibes and you have that mindset, it's going to happen before you know it. So don't let the numbers discourage you. Don't be like, oh my gosh, a thousand subscribers or whatever. Because the more you grow, the better. And you want to gain a genuine audience because you want people to watch your content. And that's going to be very important once you get monetized, that you have people who watch your content because that's how you're going to eventually get paid once they're watching your content, which also is going to eventually include your ads. But that's going to be a whole nother video. So, all right. So now we're talking about making the content, right? People are like, oh my gosh, I don't have a camera. I don't want to spend so much money on a camera. I don't have five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars to buy no camera. Sis, pipe down. You don't need a camera. Yes, you heard me right. You don't need a camera. All you need is your phone. And it don't even have to be an iPhone. Although I recommend you get on the Apple game. 
but you don't have to. Any smartphone will do the job. And as you grow, you can continue to elevate. But however, it's not required to make content. And nine times out of 10, those, app, those apps that you would use on a laptop, they come on your phone. Yes, you can edit on your phone. So some, some actually come with it already installed in there. So if you're lucky, depending on what type of software you like to use, that might be there for you. All right, so confidence on camera. People like, oh my gosh, how are you so confident on camera? How can you talk to your camera? Because when you're making these videos, I want to say 10 times out of 10, it's just that person in the camera or the person on the phone. There isn't anyone else there. Crickets, right. <laughs> right, but my personal goal or my personal way that I actually built my confidence on camera is I treat my phone as if I'm talking to my friend. Oh, I treat my camera as if I'm talking to my friend. Like, girl, what's up? And that just makes it a whole lot more easier. Makes it a whole lot better. I'm talking to it like I was talking to my friend or one of my homegirls or whatever the case may be. So if you need to treat your camera or your phone like you're talking to your mama, your sister, your husband, your bestie, in order for that personality to pull out and come out and play its role, then baby girl, do what you got to do. Young man, do what you got to do. Because it's going to deliver. All right, so editors, like I said before, editors, you can get them on mobile or you can get them on your laptop, whichever way you decide to edit your phones. Now, I will say this. A lot of the times when you edit on your phone versus the computer, you are limited to the things that you can do. I do recommend editing on a laptop, but it's not required. Okay, you can still do some bomb editing on your phone. Now, promoting. Promoting is so important. You don't have to do any paid promoting. You can do just regular promoting on your social sites. So like your TikTok, your Instagram, your Facebook. You can actually now you can actually turn your long form videos into shorts, um, which is on YouTube as well. You could turn them into reels. That's on Facebook and Instagram. You could turn them into TikTok videos. So that cross promoting is definitely important um when it comes to you know getting your videos out there on different platforms and then letting different people and different audience see you and checking you out and giving you a higher chance of getting people to come to your channel and possibly subscribing and if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to your girl's channel <laughs> all right so also i want to tell you guys here just like any other social site or any other platform there is going to be negativity now, I do say this, you have to have tough skin, okay? You have to have tough skin because they're coming. These people are going to come with their opinions. They're not asked for. They're going to come with all of their advice that nobody asks for. They're going to come with the hate. They're going to come with all that. And you just got to be ready for it. My suggestion is ignore it. You can block them. You don't have to respond. You just block them and they'll find somebody else to go bother. But I know everybody is built different. And, you know, not everybody's the same. Not everybody can tolerate stuff the same. And, you know, so on and so on. And that's completely understandable. However, just understand that they're coming. And I do suggest and recommend that you start learning and, and start building different type of block them out. Because honestly, they don't deserve your response. And like I tell my son, my oldest child, you are what you respond to. Okay? You are what you respond to. So just, you know, pick and choose who you, descend, you decide to give your energy to. All right. So another important thing that I wanted to also tell you is tags. Tags are so important. Tags, like, you know, the like the little hashtags that you put in your videos. Yes, they're very important when it comes to putting it in your description box, 
your video it helps youtube figure out where your where your where your video belongs what categories your video belongs so for those people that is searching for that type of content to watch or type of video to watch they'll know where to put you at and where to rank your video so with this there is other apps that can help and assist you with this and i recommend if you do um put tags in your video you download something called tubebuddy or you can download something called vidiq there are actually two those two apps i know that works with youtube directly so when i tell you they're spot on they're spot on they can tell you if a tag ranks high or if it ranks low and you want to stay away from the ones that rank low because ain't nobody looking for that and we really don't want to make videos about stuff that people not looking for right all right so my last one here is business email now some of you may be making videos for yourself gaming lifestyle like i said there's so many so 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 many niches out there cooking you know all of that um videos for your you know your your potential fans your subscribers your fan base your platform or whatever so you you do want to eventually start off by making a business email because as you grow there are going to be companies that is going to want to reach out to you and of course you want to seem professional you want to look professional you want to come off professional so nothing suits that better than having a professional email you don't want to have an email that says hot boy one-on-one -on -one. you don't want to have an email that says city girl you know 305 like sus get it together okay so you want to have a business email so when companies start coming out and looking for you when they want to contact you you know make sponsorships collaborations if you know people may want to start looking into managing your channel people may want to, you to start coming out so you can start you know what i'm saying like coming to their companies and being a voice on their platform you know stuff like that so you just want to seem professional you want to give off professional you just want to give off that you about your money <laughs> okay and that's going to help you all right guys so basically those are my few tips on how to grow and be consistent on youtube so i hope you guys enjoy those tips i hope you had your pen and your paper and you wrote down these little notes that's going to help you grow your channel all 2022 and also if you haven't checked out my other videos definitely go back check your girl out and subscribe to your girl's channel if you like this video don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up turn on the post notifications so you're always updated updated on the latest with your girl mo and if you want more videos like this comment down below and let me know and i got you all right guys until next time your girl will catch you in the next video bye